So I've logged into the um, I'm logged in as the cluster admin for the Red Hat OpenShift container platform here, as you can see. And the first thing that you see will be the overview here. Okay, so let's begin. So in order for us to install Joget, we will need the Joget DX operator. The operator consists not only the Joget installation, but it also includes the web app server, managing the storage, uh, licensing, uh, exposing the relevant ports, etc. And so how do you get the Joget operator? It will be in the operators, operator hub. So now I've already opened a tab with all the operators displayed in the second tab just to save some time. So let's have a look. Right, so here you can see a list of operators available from the community and the Red Hat partners. Um, we'll be using the search filter here to look for Joget. Uh, there's a few, so if you click on one of it, um, you just can you just need to click on install. So what happens is it'll pull the operator from the source, install and subscribe to the cluster. Just make it available for the oops for the developer teams to self-service manage the product across deployment environments. Um, as if you, if you've noticed, uh, I've already installed one just to save time. And uh, we can see it in the installed operator here menu over here. Again, I've uh, opened another third tab so you, um, just to save some time. So here you go, the install operators. Uh, now that the Joget DX operator is installed and made readily available for the environment, we are ready to deploy Joget. So I'm going to switch to the developer perspective and by default they will load all the projects um, for and it will show the topology view and I'll be creating a new project. Uh, for this I'm just going to call it demo and click on create. So as it's a new project it's going to be empty uh, with no workloads or no resources found. Now let's add Joget from the catalog. Uh, the catalog will display all the operators added from the cluster admin, which was um, shown previously. So let me cl click on this and just click on create. So there'll be a small setup screen here, but we can leave it by default and just create the instance of Joget. Right, so by clicking the uh, create button, it will actually redirect us to the topology view for this demo project and it'll pop up an icon that represents the deployment. The, the color of the ring provides a visual representation of the phases of deployment as the color starts up, uh, as the container starts up, sorry. So from white to light blue and later on to blue. So if we can, if we can also drill down further to view the details of the deployment. So if you're wondering what's inside the Joget operator, you can see in the resources tab that it's uh, there's a pod running. Um, we can also scale this pod up and down here, um, but for demo purposes, we'll just stick to one. And um, it has exposed the ports as shown here. And uh, there's also a public URL to access the Joget platform here. So um, again, it also provisions the storage and also handle the licensing as well. And also I think it contains the uh, JBoss uh, web app server, uh, web, yeah, web app server as well. So since this is running and we're waiting for it to complete, we can actually go on and uh, add a database as well. So we, uh, for Joget to work, we'll need a database. So we're going to click on add and click on database. So Joget supports various uh, RDBMS out there, uh, namely the major providers such as MySQL, MSSQL, Oracle, even MariaDB. Um, I'll pick MySQL for this and instantiate template. Right, so we'll need to configure a bit. So you have to ensure that it's in the proper dem uh, project. Uh, let's see, we're gonna name the database service as JokerDB, so it's easy to remember. Username, uh, password, root user password, as well as the database name, we'll be naming this as JWD. Oops, JWDB. Did this disappear? Mm. Okay, hold on. I think... Yeah. There we go. Okay. Right, so I'm going to click on Create. So what does this do? It's uh, 
it's going to create a blank database for Joget to use. As you can see, it's blue for Joget, so it's already active and the pod is running. So we're going to wait for a while for the Joget database, uh, sorry, for the database to deploy fully. All right. I do apologize. Uh, yeah. This may take about a minute or two actually. Yeah, there we go. It's already active. So now it's fully deployed. We can access the public URL by clicking on the Joget icon and go to resources and click on the link. Or we can use the URL shortcut over here. So when you click on it, uh, it will lead us to the database setup page. Um, yeah. So we'll need to key in what we keyed in the uh, MySQL. So it was JogetDB, JW is correct. Let's call it was Joget, password is Joget. And uh, we're going to be adding the apps, sample apps, as well as the sample users as well. So by clicking on save. So what's happening here is um, since we have a blank database mysql database here uh, the setup will actually initialize a new database called jwdb in the mysql and create the necessary database tables uh, within for joget to run and it will include um, the additional sample apps as well and also the users so this step will take a short while so um Irin, just to quickly um, summarize what has happened so far is you went into the environment, OpenShift environment, you created a, a Joget um, you know, pod with Joget deployed. Right. The deployment of Joget happened by virtue of using uh, operator and same with the jo uh, the you know MySQL database MySQL. that you created, right? Yeah, that's created, correct. You brought up the Joget environment and you connected that with the database that you created. Right. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yep. And Since it's in the same topology. Yeah. Yeah. We are at a point wherein the environment is now connected to the database, and it's just coming up. Um, so we Correct. can we can leverage the the environment. Correct. So as you can see here, it says uh, error forbidden. Um, no worries. Uh, actually, this is a JavaScript timeout. Uh, I believe it actually succeeded. Uh, it just took longer than expected for Joget to set up the DB. So if I just click on the logo here. It should bring us to the Joget platform where you'll be greeted by our app center, the landing page. So just give it a moment. This is where the uh, the app center is basically the um, the environment wherein you can now log into Joget and create an application. So welcome to the app center. Uh, as you can see, we already have some sample apps here. By clicking on it, uh, you will run the app similar to the app on chain your smartphone. So uh, Ravish, I guess we'll be creating a new app. Is that right? Yeah. So All right. before we go there, uh, what has okay. happened right now is we went from no infrastructure to environment created with database behind the scenes um, that you will now leverage to create an application. That is correct. Right. So yep. why don't we go ahead and create an application. I think we have spent almost around, I would say, eight or nine minutes doing this. That is correct. Yeah. Well, so yeah. now uh, we'll be creating the app. Yep. Go ahead, please. Okay, sure. So I've logged in as the admin, and uh, I'll be just clicking on the design new app button. Um, since this is an app, so I'm just going to call it. Uh, do you have a specific app, Ravish, or just call it demo? You'll find. Just, just call it demo. All right. Okay. Cool. It'll bring us to the designer app, and then we can actually start building the app. So I guess we'll start with a new form. Um, I just want to call it a request. Let's call this request form. Oops, request form. And yeah, there we go. So when I click on save, it will bring me to the form builder. So this is where we actually build the forms. It's easy as drag and drop. Um, yeah, so let's just change this name, section name to something more meaningful. And uh, Ravish, maybe you can give me some uh, requirements in terms of what fields we're going to add. Um, why don't you? Why, why don't we create a simple request application for um, you know prototype approval? 
for businesses okay. we have been talking about so let's say someone is submitting their name their department right, right. name uh, department so i guess i'll use the select box with let's say okay. department and I'll just choose the department options binder which is using the user management in Joget for that, right? And do you have anything else in terms of... Uh, um, let's add an amount. Um, oh, amount, okay. Budget amount. Budget. Right, so I'm going to change this a bit to look uh, the formatting cell to US. Uh, let's say two decimals with a prefix of a dollar sign. Okay. Right. And uh, let's say, um, you know, let's add a text area that says um, justification. Justification. Right, here we go. Right, I guess that's, uh, that'll do. Um, so I'll just be clicking on the preview button here. So this is just to see the preview of the form, just to get a feel how it's going to look in the actual environment. Uh, this is more to show off the form and the elements itself. For example, like the select box, and it's going to look a bit different once the UI treatment has been added via the user view. So I'm going to close the preview, and uh, I'll be generating the. We're using one of the features in Joget, which is generate app. Oops, sorry, I forgot to save. <laughs> All right, so let me save it a bit, and I click on generate app. Um, so we're gonna. So this is basically a plugin where we can create templates. So I'm just going to create a CRUD as well as an approval process that looks something like this. All right, and click on generate. And there you have it, it's done. So I'm going to close this and close the form builder. And as you can see in the design app, they've added, uh, the app generator has helped added the proper components for generating the CRUD as well as the approval process. So we can now ra run or launch the app either by clicking on the launch button here or we can just refresh the app center and you'll see an icon called demo, right? So by clicking on this, so for now we are live for the demo app. There you go. So these are the menus that was generated by the app generator. Um, I'm going to showcase on the uh, workflow that it's working. So I'm just going to click on submit request form. So here's the form that I just created and I'll just give it a few names here. So, right. Finance budget, let's say 200, that'll do. Um, this is a demo. I'm gonna click on submit. So when I submit, there'll be a task. It will be shown in the inbox. And I can see some of the details in the uh, uh, from the inbox and I can just click on approval. And from here, we could just approve the form, the request. And yep, completed. So if we look at the CRUD, when it's request form, you can see that, yeah, that's the record that we just added. And and just for uh, to spice it up, um, Adrian, if I want a search filter and I want to rearrange, I want to name in the in name first and then department, then budget and then justification. Can you rearrange that for me? Yep, sure, no problem. Uh, since I'm the admin, I have access to the admin bar here and it gives me to the uh, quick edit mode. I simply click on this component here. It will redirect me to the relevant uh, builder, which is a data list builder. And let's make the adjustments that you requested. Name, budget, department, justification, and add the name as the search filter. Let's click on save. Close the data list builder and refresh there you have it it's done